<laughs> Welcome to the Coalition of Scrubs, and yes, that was all of our collective natural voices singing. Welcome back everyone to From the Deck. Today we visit something special. Phantom Rage is a set that released in OCG a long time ago, and is finally coming to the TCG. And there is just one card, one exact and precise card, that can solve all the problems with PK Orcus. There has been a lot of support for PK recently, but there's one card that we just need that can make the deck playable and can lead to great things. And that one card that hopefully comes in Phantom Rage for the TCG is Frank Kids Meow Meow. Welcome back to the Collision of Scrubs. I'm your host from the deck, and today we are starting the celebrations from Prank Kids Week, created and planned originally by our friend Abra Cartman because he loves Prank Kids so much. So, we are going to start the celebrations with this video. I'm dedicating this to him, of course. As you know, some time ago, I decided to create a conjunction of Prank Kids and Orcus. Because, you know, it's funny to call PK Orcus Phantom Knight's Orcus when it can be Prank Kids Orcus. And now with the release of Phantom Rage and the introduction of the Link 1 Prank Kids Meow Meow, we can finally normal summon our Prank Kids monster and do full combo, despite, you know, it being negated. Before we start, I want to thank everyone for spending your time with us. Please consider subscribing, give it a like, leave a comment on what you want to see next. And also check all of our social media, I will leave mine in the description. And as well the links to the other friends here that create amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content on their respective channels. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Yet here we are. Now we are going to start with the Prank Hits part of the deck. We're going to start with the Prank Hits part of the deck. And we start with Prank Hits Roxys, the level 4 monster. Prank Hits Lampsys, the level 3. We are playing 3 of these and 2 of Roxys. 3 of Dropsys, the level 2. And 3 of Fancies, the level 1. Each of these can special summon one Prank Kids monster from the deck when used as a link material or a fusion material for a Prank Kids monster from the extra deck. And they have different effects, for example Roxy's, uh, banish one card from your heart, draw one card and special summon one Prank Kids. Lampsys, inflict 500 damage to your opponent, then special summon one Prank Kids. Dropsys, gain 1000 life points and summon one Prank Kids monster. And fancies then one prank it's card from the deck to the graveyard and special summon one prank it's really useful really cool things here but the most important thing is that they float when used as a link or fusion material then we're playing to prank it's pandemonium this is the fusion spell really important it's searchable so it there it doesn't matter to play three of these but two is just a cool number to make it four then one of the best cards here prank it's pranks a lot of people just play one of these but I think it's important because we are playing Orcus as well. So we need that extra monster. Prank its pranks lets us discard one prank its card from our hand and special summon one token. That's really good. And also during the end phase we can target three prank its cards in the graveyard, shuffle back in the deck and draw one card. So it's also a little bit of resource management, so really cool. Two of the field spell prank its place. It can add a prank its monster on activation and when you fusion summon help all the monsters you control gain 500 attack points and when you link summon a prank it's monster obviously all your opponent's monsters lose 500 attack points so really cool and then two traps prank kids plan on the field it lets you link summon during the opponent's turn but most importantly when it's in the graveyard you can return all you can manage this and return all of the prank kids cards in your graveyard and the opponent's monster that is attacking does 100 attack per each prank kids return to the deck it doesn't matter if it's a deck or main deck so it really leads to or your monster destroying that opponent's monster of course and also gaining you some advantage and resource management so 20 cards for our prank kids. Let's go with our Orcus engine. We are playing two of War Wand. If you send this to the graveyard, if you have one in your hand, you can special summon War Wand. 
I didn't know that. I just learned that and that's really cool. Then we have two Orcus Nightmare, you know what it does. Three Jirsu. Really good card. You can conflict on the normal summons, but I think resolving Frank it's is a little bit more important than resolving Orcus, in my opinion. Three symbol skeleton and one brass bombard. And for our spells, we are playing one return and two of Babel. I kind of like drawing into Babel because then I just can search return or crescendo instead of searching the field spell. So that's really cool. That's why I play two of these and three on pure Orcus. Obviously, Orcus is it crescendo. It's a counter trap that just says not to your opponent. There's not much in there. And for generic staples, I'm playing one Herpes Feather Duster, one, one for one, one Terraforming, one Foolish Burial, and one Monster Reborn. Just generic power cards, you know, to deal with your opponent's things, and also lets you go into incredible stuff here. For example, one for one can give you either Brass Bombard or Prank It's Fancies. So it's kinda neat there. And it's also a discard floater, so if you had the two Orcus Nightmare in the hat and one for one, you can discard that Orcus Nightmare. Really cool. And for the extra deck, we are playing Frank It's Battle Butler. This fusion monster that's really cool requires Lampsies, Dropsies, and Fancies. Or to put it simple, the red, the blue, and the green. But it is a Raigeki by tributing it. I'm going to explain to you why it does this matter later, but this is basically a Raigeki. And if it's sent to the graveyard by the opponent's card, we can special summon one non-fusion monster from the graveyard. Any monster. It doesn't matter which one, just any monster that is non-fusion. Really cool, right? They were played one of Frankie's Rocket Ride. If you tribute this, you can special summon two Frankie's from your graveyard that are not fusions. So you can summon two links or two monsters from the main deck, and that's really cool. And practice where Washer lets you special summon the same kind of stuff that Rocket Ride does, but during the opponent's turn. So it's a quick play, yeah, basically. Then we have Prankies, do 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 When it's linked summon, you can search a Prankies spell or trap. This is our searcher for Pandemonium or the field spell or the trap, whatever you need. And it also can tribute itself to add two prank kits from the graveyard to your hand. And also we have prank kits bubble work. Uh, also let, tributes itself to return two prank kits monsters with different names from the graveyard to your hand. But this does this on the opponent's turn. Also, when it activates this effect, all prank kits monsters that you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's cards this turn. Artifacts. Basically just protection for all prank kits on the field. So that's really nice. Then we have the biggest implementation here. Prank kits Meow Meow. This little guy, Link 1, 1000 attack, is the boss here. You can link summon this just once per turn. If a prank kits monster will activate its effect that tributes itself, you can banish this from the graveyard start. So you have a Raigeki multiple times during your turn. You can Raigeki your opponent on their turn and Raigeki them again. One, two, two times basically. Who needs to Raigeki twice? I don't know. But if you need it, you can now Raigeki twice during your opponent's turn. And we play two of these because this is a starter. Basically as that. Then for the Orcus part, we are playing two Dingirsu and two of Galatea. No much there to say. And for generic extra deck staple, we're playing Axis Code Talker, Nightmare Unicorn, IP Mascarena, and Link Rivo for that Frank It's token. Or for the token of Gearsu. Whatever you want to link into Link Rivo, you can use it. And it, it's really cool. But without further ado, let's go to the replays. We are going to we're going to start up our replay section with one other deck that also got recent support announcement, and that is Metal Force. People want to play this. I don't know why. 
it kind of breaks hard when you break hard, like in this instance when you don't have any monster, and you just can set parameters for fusion and pass on that. What are you really doing? I don't know. One for one, let us discard Brass Bombard to summon fancies linking to Meow Meow, and our opponent just scoops because that's just full combo. That's funny, right? We cannot TK with this hand, but the opponent said nope and just surrender. Then we have Raigeki Turbo in form of Black Rose Dragon. Yeah, I just said that. We are going first, we are going to terraform in front, four place, discarding Gearsu, going to Fancies, activating place, adding one other ranked monster. I'm going into Meow Meow, special summon Roxis, going to Doodle Doo, Link 1 and Link two, Chain 1 and Chain 2. Special summon one and also draw adding one spell trap. Go into Mebel Bark. Summon another one. Foolish Burial into Tibble Skeleton. Steamble Skeleton reviving that Gearsu. Gearsu sending Nightmare. Go into Galatea. Returning the Gearsu. And setting or orchestrated Babel. Go into the Gearsu and pass on that. Now that may not be in the most incredible deck, but look at this, we can return the Frankitz monsters that we need and go into Battle Butler. And we have Meow Meow in the graveyard to Raigeki our opponent if we want to, but that's really cool. We special summon also three Frankitz monsters, and remember they are all unaffected, of my, I mean, cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn. Really nice, isn't it? He's going to steal Battle Butler, okay? I'm just going to detach to protect both uh, Orchestrated Bubble and Dingirsu. And we're going to normal summon Gearsu in our turn. Make uh, another Galatea, another Dingirsu, whatever we just need. One into INP Mascarena, reviving the Gearsu. Attaching the Siemens Skeleton. War one into Nightmare. Make Access Code Talker. Gain attack and just go into it for game with all of our Orcus and PK monsters on the field. And finally, we're going against Red Eyes Turbo in form of Dark Magicians. They are obviously going to start discarding Super Poly, Keeper of Dragon Magic, Magician Souls, that's the expensivest one Dark Magician I have ever seen. I know expensivest is in a real. Um, Word, I don't care. We start with a foolish burial. Go into Meow Meow. He's going to negate our dropsies with Monster Reborn. The Nightmare. Go into Galatea. Galatea is going to get busted by sending Symbol Skeleton. And then we're going to get um, Return. Return draw two cards. Terraforming for uh, Blaze. Blaze adding another Pranky card. And then go into Ding, Ding, sending that dragon to the graveyard and attacking over the summoner monk. On opponent draws into a trap that you cannot see yet, because I will make the biggest mistake I can ever make here. And that is sending waking the dragon to the graveyard with Ding Gears. We are going to still try to make something. That Burton Akona did absolutely nothing, of course, but we can just attack with Axis Code here. Our opponent draws a dead card in Dark Magicians, which is not curious, and just surrenders. And basically that's it, folks. This is just Prankits doing whatever Prankits does the best, that it's swarming the field and Link summoning. And all that was just possible by the release of Meow Meow. So yeah, I'm really excited. I cannot pick Prankits because they're a little bit expensive here in Mexico, but if you can pick up Prankits, you better do. Not because they're going to be meta, but because they're fun. And Meow Meow is an incredible card. And if you want to play Prank It Circus, give it a try. Uh, tell me how you went. And if you have any other iteration with the deck and another change you want to suggest, leave it in the comments, of course. I want to thank everyone for watching this video, and we we'll see you on the next one. Adios!